Terry told us about. He wants to throw on first down. Steps up and throws. Incomplete. Much more confidence, and they'll play more zone today. Royce Freeman is the running back, and Freeman third in the country with 850. Madison number two in the slot to the top of your screen. They look the other way instead. Now pressure coming. Deep for Stanford. And he's down to the 36-yard line. Much different Oregon team with this guy at quarterback. You can already see it. Freeman straight ahead. You ask how Helfrich here looks pretty healthy right now. Adams the handoff to Taj Griffin. Travis Feeney, one of the outstanding defenders for this Husky group, made the stop. And Washington plays with just two linemen with their hand on the ground, and both Feeney and Littleton are taller, leaner guys who do an excellent job with long arms and speed setting the edge. It looked like that was going to be a hook block, and Feeney beat it. And they missed a hold on the outside as well. Feeney was complaining to the officials. Third down and long. They show blitz, but only come with four. Adams caught in the pocket. Now throws deep, has a man open, end zone, touchdown. His first game back, it was a drug, failed drug test suspension, and now a two-point conversion. Two-point conversion, and they won't get it. The ball is loose. And a scrum at the four-yard line. Suspended for the national championship game and just back. Freeman, the remaining setback. They fake it to him and throw out in the flat to Addison. Oh, that was a nice pickup after the penalty. Give it to Freeman. School and be successful. So it was a long process before they decided to take the transfer. Third and six. Pressure coming, and they'll have to made the stop. This defensive line for Washington, missing Danny Shelton, the first round draft pick in the NFL, is big, active. We mentioned they have a position, and now you leave Oregon on the field with a non competitive foul. Freeman. First chance to get into the open. The ball came loose. Was he down or not? It's now, it's a little surprised they weren't getting a timeout. Washington showing blitz. Freeman runs right through the space that was vacated. This almost not exact same but a very similar conceptual offense at Eastern Washington where when you read a defense and you see a blitz sometimes you run right at it because if you chop through it then the secondary is not there. Washington after last season got here in August took a while to get going. Adams with the in inside handoff to Benoit. Third down here for Washington. They have not had the blitz to get pressure on the pocket. Benoit stays in the game on third. Fake to him. Adams throws incomplete. In their shocking loss against Washington State. They just couldn't throw the ball in the second half. But with Vernon Adams back and looking very healthy, he's a the best. But Chip Kelly's name, of course, is the name that all of the SC fans have been at Twitter about because of some struggles this year with him. I know yes. that sounds insane. But USC is one of the top three or four jobs in the country. Pressure and the throw underneath complete to the top. Who was throwing down. The other guy was trying to pull off. But another big penalty on special teams for Washington. Adams trying to see if he can do anything through the air. Has a completion out to Braylon Addison. Pressure coming. And the sack back at the 38-yard line. What an effort. A bunch because of the suspended Azim Victor. They try to cross him up with Royce Freeman. Trying to save it for your offense, and that sack really hurt Oregon. Didn't get that timeout very quickly. Adams under pressure again. Escapes again. And unloads for Addison. Braylon Addison couldn't. They're in chip shot field goal range if they need that. Adams will throw to the corner, well overthrown. Adams under pressure. Throws to the back of the end zone, incomplete. Freeman is the setback, and he'll get it. 
Done a good job against him tonight. The tackles and the big middle linebacker. Big help to have him back. Adams. Under pressure again. Like a broken record, he escapes again. Has the first down and Moore <laughs> slides out of bounds. I mean, Washington's had him dead to rights how many times in the backfield and haven't been able to get him. Here's the big guy breaking away, Freeman. He scraped over the top that time. He made the wrong step to his left, and Freeman made him pay for it. Freeman again, this time absolutely nothing there because Travis Feeney closed down from the outside linebacking spot. Feeney, a guy that uh, was a safety when he first got here. Big, long, can get off the edge. And they've been able to build. Because he can set the edge at 6'4", 240, they've been able to keep only two down linemen, guys with hands on the ground, on the field. Of course, Littleton as well. Gives them a lot of diversity, and uh, these tall guys can get out and cover some space in the pass game as well. Those two add up to 600 pounds, however. <laughs> Pressure coming here, a flanker screen. Addison is so good in space. I remember a couple years ago we had this team and just watching him find a place to run. Boy, uh, Oregon's lucky that they didn't get called for tackling Travis Feeney there. That looked like a hold out there. There have been, and as long as you can get away with it, you'll keep doing it. Yeah, it's not a penalty if they don't call it, right? Exactly. That's what linemen always say. Good ones, anyway. Fake to Benoit. There's the post. And they've got another first mm. down, down to the 15-yard line. Adams telling Freeman the new play. Sets in the pocket mm. and throws. Freeman, nice hesitation. Inside the 10 to the 5. Make just a bad choice. Bieria looks like he's going to nail him in the backfield. And you've also got Greg Gaines in there. And he outruns them all. 15 carries, 77 yards, trying to add to it. Replace Freeman and now quarterback keeper trapped coming back the other way and just outran the defenders to get inside the three yard line. Freeman, the deep man, will get the carry, makes one man miss, makes another man miss. Adams on the keeper wants to throw, throws to the end zone, touchdown. Pressure coming on Adams, scrambles away from it. They just can't contain him. He does it again. I'm sure you mean that in the kindest way. <laughs> Griffin. Flags are down all over the place, and Taj Griffin run as this uh, game winds down. Freeman. Big guy's off and running again. Freeman to midfield, finally. That was... Uh... Tupo, who just got, he just got turned inside. Going this way. Well, he's on the verge of going over the 1,000-yard mark for the second time, and there could have been another hold right in the middle of that line. A couple of linemen really got just grabbed as they were on their way to the quarterback. Yeah, they were, Oregon was trying to set up the uh, screen, so they did call. Griffin in the lineup. He'll get the carry. Whew. He'll miss. Adams off his back foot. Perfect post. And a great three-yard line that's third and a mile. Trying to get outside is Griffin. Another flag is down. That's Greg Gaines, a freshman who's getting a lot of run now for Washington. And he has been, I've been watching 99. Maybe you keep it in there, but uh, I don't think that was the read Browning was looking for. Perhaps the thought was that it was uncatchable. Addison trying to add to his kick return magic. Ball's loose. That's a point of emphasis in a word this year. We'll be back in a moment. 13.09 to go and a 10 point lead. Fake it inside, go out to Addison. He'll pick. We knew he could throw the long ball, we knew he was accurate. He is so good in the pocket and so good when he breaks out of it. He keeps and then tosses on an option play to uh, get the cramp. But this just became an option out of nowhere. Stanford over there. What a, although he stepped out of bounds, a nice play. Freeman. 
And he's got enough Ooh. for the first down to move the sticks. And Adams still concerned about his legs. Here he wants a screen. Ooh. Almost enters. Second down and 10. Nice tough run by Freeman. I want to ask Jerry Punch a question. Doc, it's my experience. Once somebody starts getting cramps, they're not going to go away unless they have an IV. Is that close? Well, normally that's the case, Mike. In fact, in this Oregon offense, the doctors and I were talking prior to the game. That's an issue they battle because of the amount of the rapidly running plays they do. It's so much offense. But, uh, but that you've got a player injured on the field, but that's one of the reasons that they try to really push fluids on the sidelines at Oregon because of how, with the no-huddle rapid offense number of plays, cramping can be an issue. And uh, that's uh, But normally IVs are not, a, are not an issue here for Oregon. All right, Jerry, and one of the Washington players is down. We will check on him when we come back. Uh, and by the way, uh, Travis Feeney that we saw injured before we went to break, it looked like he had a, a pretty significant arm injury in the replay. We didn't want to show you that replay. Obviously, he was in a tremendous amount of pain, uh, but it looked like it was an arm injury that he went down with. That's a, a big loss in this part of the game for Washington and a big loss if Feeney is out for any extended time. A terrific player off the edge for the Huskies. Doc, what do you have? Well, good news for the Huskies of Washington. One of their de uh, senior leaders, one of their leaders on defense, Travis Feeney, evaluated on the bench, left shoulder, pardon me, right shoulder retaped and evaluated, put the shoulder pads back on. He will be back in the ball game on the next Ooh, defensive series. How that is a big that? deal. He was in a ton of pain when he went down on that last series. Punching our entire crew, this is Mike Patrick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the ball game. Good night.